If I opened the door, I was like, whoa, this stinks. Now let's go through and see what we find. Oh, whoa, okay. Dad's love letters to mom. This is priceless. Uh-oh. Let's see what's in there. This is interesting right here. Metal set, prisoner of war. Ooh, wow. Wow, what an incredible box, really. Like, a, this is a true time capsule right here. 1945 on that. Oh, wartime photos. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. Oh, 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 what's this, though? Okay, wait, I see a cash box or something. That's not so good. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a pipe. Mm, here's another box right here. Jewelry box, perhaps? Oh, okay. Oh, there's some jingle jingle in there. Come on, better shoe box, no drugs, please. No drugs, please. All right, Locker Nuts, there's my uh, truck loaded with those filthy mattresses right there. And here I am in my trailer, ready to go through this stuff. Are you guys ready? So if you saw the last video, we left off with running out of time and getting that 10 by 10 cleaned out. So a lot of the boxes I just put in here, we didn't go through it. That dresser is full. I didn't go through it. We're gonna go through that today. First, I gotta get the mattress to the dump. Uh, that one's not worth selling. I'll tell you, it's so gross. Pea stains, burn marks, nasty smell. Smells like someone slept on it for a decade and never put sheets on it. It smells so, t like just low that thing just moving it just handling it I now stink and ugh, it's such a gross feeling yeah I mean even when I opened the trailer up I opened the door I was like whoa this stinks that one's got to go to the dump there's no saving that mattress it's done all right but a lot of other stuff in here is junk I know but we have so many boxes of potential we did find some good stuff here a little bit of good stuff I'm hoping we're gonna find some more we need to find some more we need to need to make this worthwhile let's do some digging okay I've got a little bin here for the flea market. I've got a trash bin here. Now let's go through and see what we find. Toolbox, okay. This is a nice uh, embroidered. Is that considered embroidery? Doily? It's kind of nice. I got this unit for 25 bucks at the store's locker auction. Mm, nothing too good here. Nice little snips there, but just tools, like I said. It has a big 10 by 10. It definitely has a lot of tools in it, and that's gonna be my profit on this one. Oh, whoa, okay. We did find some pennies too. There's $2.50. Yes, maybe they're older. I didn't find any older ones yet, but that's a good. <laughs> that kind of stuff charges me up and gives me hope. What's this? A couple more pennies in there. Postage stamps. In a match box, huh? Postage stamps. Those are forever stamps right there, 50 cents a pop right there. Probably got another five bucks right there. I'll take it. What else we got in here? A little loop. Okay. I see some pennies. I see a dime. Things are looking up. Zinc ointment there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got a little bin right here. We're gonna put some of the better stuff in there. Yeah, okay. That's an old stapler right there. Presto Stapler Deluxe. Magnifying glass. Obviously, there's a Singer scissors. Okay. Razor blades. That's what it be. Okay, to the market. One more box here. Come on, coin collection. Coin rolls, that's a... Okay, no, they're empty. Okay. <laughs> Okay, medicine bottle. Sometimes that's good. I found jewelry in those before, so never rule those out. Hmm. Ooh, it's a headlamp. It still works. at and fiber. It's a mirror. Hey, locker nuts. How's it going? Paper clips. Oh, boy. Okay, there's some Sharpies. That's a little better, right? Sharpies usually do sell. There's another old uh, pair of scissors there. Compton, USA. Got some rap songs going through my head right now. Compton, mm, mm, Compton. Should I save the scissors, guys? I don't know. Are those collectible enough? I don't know. Staples, Gorilla Glue, Staple Remover. What's this? 
Whatever it is, it lights up, but it's not doing anything else. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Next drawer. Love letters. Dad's love letters. To mom. Priceless. <laughs> this is priceless. Uh-oh. Let's see what's in there. Okay, and then this too. Let's get that out. Let's look at this one first. What's up, bra? Bra? Socks? Well, that socks. Hit it. All right, let's see if it's as advertised. Oh, hang on. Mom's diary. Oh, whoa. 1934, 1935, and 1936. Hello. This is actually kind of interesting. Wow, that's pre-World War II. That's kind of interesting. Wednesday, today, sister told us that we might have our ca cafeteria day on February 31st. She was not sure. She said she would find out. Antoinette said she did not feel good, so she went to bed. Oh, this is heck of boring, guys. <laughs> that's really boring. Uh, but she does have some nice penmanship, I must say. I met two kids. They live next door. They are nice. Their names are Betty and Laffer Cobbledick. I don't know them very well. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. That's like not too juicy. We like the juicy ones. Come on, juicy diary. Where's the juicy diary? Ooh. Look at this. 1934 to 1935. Class autographs. Ooh, this is really neat. So this is uh, some nice ephemera right here that we found. And yes, it is personal. Or you would think it would be, right? Because it says moms and everything. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, though. I don't think this is going back to the owners. And I'll tell you why. And I know some of you is going to be like, oh, oh, wait. Dad's war medals. Okay, this got a little bit more interesting. So uh, we did give some of the family photos back to the office. But she said she did not think she was going to be able to get a hold of the owners because they had been out of contact for a very long time. But she said she will try. She said, I'll hold them for a while and I will try. So I may not get these back because if she's not able to get a hold of them, these will go in the garbage. Oh, okay, what do we got here? Do we have something special here? That one's neat. Um, this is interesting right here. Metal set, prisoner of war. Ooh, wow. Okay, is that something good? Prisoner of War Metal is designed to permit engraving of the recipient's name should you desire to. That's what it, the, the writing on that says. Oh my, this does have someone's name on it. My, my, my. Sergeant Thomas Mitchern? Machern? Mitchern? Wow. Okay, this is, this is very interesting. And look at this little pin right here. The eagle. Hmm, okay. This is getting a little bit better. In the last video, I said this is interesting to me, this dresser, because we love finding full dressers. And this is a very good reason why. This is definitely stuff that they did not want to part with. This is stuff you would not find at, like, a garage sale, for example. Wow, okay, that's nice. Okay, I like that for sure, for sure, for sure. It's got some information on them right there. Prisoner of War in Italy. Whew, wow. That's got to be World War II, right? Super cool. Super cool. All right, so then we got, it said love letters, and this is from 1945. Could, oh, look, it's got the stamps and everything. Stamps, 1945, this is wartime, right? No, right after World War II, at the end of World War II. 1945 again. Oh, that's the name, Mulhern. Look at all these old stamps in here, too. Six cent airmail. Yeah, that's cool. There might be some value just in the stamps, I don't know. 1945 again. 1945 again. Wow. You stationed in New York? Hmm. Look at this. The luckiest husband on earth, forever needing you and wanting you. The sweet made out to the sweetest, loveliest girl on earth. Oh, that's so sweet. This is pretty cool, guys. This is pretty cool. Uh, oh, I got some photos. Oh, here's a report card from Oakland Public Schools. That's definitely local. So I don't see a date on there, but that's probably 30s or 40s on that also. Wow, what an incredible box, really. Like a, This is a true time capsule right here. 1945 on that. 1945, he did a lot of writing in 1945. This is not the guy. This has got to be his grandpa or something. Father, grandpa. More from 1945 right here. Whoa, what's this? 
Prisoner of War post. Germany. How oh, stinking cool. To dad from mom. What's this? Oh, that's so fascinating, really. Oh, this is from 1980, though. I cried a bit when I read your love letter. If only I could deserve it. I want you to know you are everything I hope for in a wife and then some. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. You are all I have. This is really nice stuff, guys. And this is from 1967. That's from 1973. It's like they updated it when they came across it and reread them. So neat. What's this? It's my itinerary of something. Wow, that's a lot of kisses. <laughs> that's it's almost how much uh, money the government prints every year right there. Just kidding. All right, uh, Oakland Tribune. What's this? A rusty old paper clip. It's been sitting for a while. Ah, another scrap of written on a napkin. Hello, sweet. Had to run my honey bun. I love you so. I just want you to know I miss you. Always, Tommy. What is this? Oakland Tribune. Victory Loan Drive. Oh, this is a money envelope for raising money. Is that what this is? Interesting. Really neat stuff, guys. Really neat stuff. Uh, as I said, I will not be returning this right away because I do not want to see this stuff go to the garbage. Um, and you would be surprised how many times we return stuff later to find out that it was never picked up and went to the dump. Uh, ultimately ended up in the garbage. Incredible. Incredible. What's this? Western Union. Here's a telegram from 1945. Uh, it looks like, Dear Sweetheart, I love you with all my heart and soul. And then he gives her his address for mailing. We'll be waiting. All love in the world. Forever yours. Wow. So nice. It's cool they kept this stuff, right? Got more telegrams, more love letters. Wow. A lot of telegrams. 1945. So cool. Ginny, my sweetest of all my dreams. Wow, that's an old card. Look how fancy that card is. It's got lace in there. That's a very old card. Probably from the same era, 1940s. Another one. Another very fancy. A Mother's Day message for my wife. Nice. No date on that either. Copyright 1946, though. There's another one. An Easter message. Another one on our anniversary. Christmas card. This one's not even been written in. This is a vintage Christmas card. Oh, that's too bad. A little water damage right there. Created by Paramount. Never been written on. 1947, maybe? Let's see. Kodak envelope. Oh, look at this. Oh, wartime photos. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. That's so freaking cool. Great box here. Great box. All right, that was great. And that's only half of it. Got two more drawers here. One doesn't look as interesting. Deodorant. We could let that go. Oh my, look at this, guys. Dentures. <laughs> That's hilarious, right? Dentures. Funny. HDMI cord. Oh, I see some lighters in there. Let's take a look, closer look at that. There's some good uh, remotes there, Samsung. Mm, what's this? Seiko titanium? Ah, empty. Uh oh. It doesn't sound like coins. Could be jewelry. Let's take a look at that in a second. 35 episodes of France. Oops, x rated videos. Okay. Nope, we don't sell that stuff. There's a charger. Bandages. Yeah, there's a little, uh, what do you call it? What's the word, guys? Alan Wrench, thank you. Thank you. Did you comment? I think I heard you. Alan Wrench. <laughs> All right. That's actually a nice one. Hmm, this is good right here. Wait, maybe not. It's empty. Oh, no, it's not empty. There's a magic eraser in there. I'm going to keep that. We we'll use that for cleaning up stuff. Pledge for Breeze. Nice. I usually keep the pledge, but I have a ton of them right now, so that'll go. Boy, that's almost empty. Sewing kit. jewelry in there. That's a sewing kit. What's this all about there? Okay, keychain. This is like cat stuff. I don't really know what that's about. Okay. What is, where did this stuff come from? 
Okay. Okay. There's a little piece of metal right here. It's like Thai or something from Thailand, maybe. A little metal figurine and a few pennies. All right. Okay. What's in here? Battery. Lock. Hey, mm, that's some funky junky right here. I'll at least grab the pennies. Is that worth five cents to do that work? I don't know. All right, that was not good. <laughs> I had hopes. I had hopes. This could be better. Nope. There's a little door stopper right there. A couple of really sticky marble lights. I'm not selling those. They're plastic. They're really sticky. I don't like it. Screws. And this is what I saw in there, and I was excited about, and. Maybe the only good thing. What, what do we got here? There's a Zippo. It doesn't stay closed. Though. That's not a good sign. But it is a Zippo. This one. Scripto. Scripto is what it says. Butane. Flint's completely gone. Who knows if that works or not. But that's cool. I'll put those aside. Alright. One more drawer of mystery and potential. Mm -mm. Nope. It looks like a bag of hangers. Dang it. There's a nice rubber band container. I say nice because it's not filthy and disgusting and dirty like most of the stuff in this locker. Ah, there's another old hanger. Set well. That's a vintage hanger right there. Maybe antique even. I don't know. I'll put that aside. I don't... It's not big money, but it's just kind of cool though. And these hangers are gnarly. Uh, a couple more vintage ones though. Sort of. All right. That does that. That's still a nice dresser though. We got some potential in the dresser alone. All right, guys, I moved a few boxes over to my locker here, uh, which is close to where I parked the trailer because I got the table. I got a little bit more space and quite frankly, it's a little cooler. It's really warm in that uh, trailer right now. Okay, this box said books and I knew it was because of how heavy the dang thing was. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Marburg Chronicles. Complete book of fishing. Complete book of hunting. That's actually a little bit neater. Some vintage books. And you see, I put on some gloves. This this locker is just so stinking dirty. My hands are black, which I usually don't mind. It's more the smell, which you guys don't get. You don't get that part, and you can thank me later. Seventh printing, 1965. It's cool. It's just not that cool. But it's bring it to Deanza cool. Just not in our live auction cool. <laughs> if you know what I mean. The Ching. Or Book of Changes, the I Ching, I Ching, oh, Captain, okay, okay, I was thinking, I was thinking, Ching, like, you know, change, cha-ching, no, not that, this is a uh, Bible, in case any of you haven't read it, uh, there you go, <laughs> I strongly recommend it, good, good, good stuff in there, great stuff, Exploits of Sherlock Holmes, another older book, Reader's Digest, Condensed Books, 1995, 1992, eh. I'm going to dig through here and see if there's anything interesting. I'll pull it out and show you guys if there is. Okay, there's a lot of these good housekeeping books. I don't think those have value. I might be completely wrong. Ooh, Robinson Crusoe and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Well, hey now, that's a good one. Put that one aside. The good housekeeping, I don't think they're really worth anything. I'm just going to donate them. Step Ball Change, The Stone Monkey, Smoke Jumper, another Reader's Digest. So I just put, just put them in this box over here. We're just going to donate this box. Uh, but I did find this. Look at this. A Journey to the Center of the Earth, Jules Verne, Return of Sherlock the Holmes, Sir Conan Arthur Doyle. What? Arth what? Arthur, little dyslexia there. <laughs> Arthur Conan Do Doyle and the Complete Works of William Shakespeare. Those are some very interesting books. I will put those aside. I'll just pull out just a few books there. We'll bring it to the market. The rest of it, donate. Okay, this one says Bedroom Closet Miscellaneous Photo Albums. That doesn't sound super good. Just being honest right now. It does not sound that good, but who knows? Could be anything. What? Okay, there's someone's uh, drawing, their artwork. What? I'll show that. Okay, whoa. Inappropriate stuff in there. Someone had a, an eye for art, but took it the wrong direction. <laughs> Paperwork. Empty. Empty. 
Everything is just so dirty. It's just filthy. There's a mirror, but it's filthy too. Oh, it'll go to Stockton. We'll give it away. There's some clothes. Uh, it's got that same print. We saw some, I think, t-shirts with that print. And they'd cut the neck out. It's, that's all right. There's a robe. Oh, 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 what's this though? Okay, wait, I see a cash box or something. Penn State, look, it's like dog hair all over it though. Dog or cat hair and a huge stain on the back. <laughs> oh, it stinks so bad. Cow, that's filthy, filthy. I'm glad I got these gloves on. Ew, mm -mm. Everything else is so gross. I'm sure that is too. There's the San Francisco Giants t-shirt double xl but again just filthy holiday headbands for reals that's a thing huh that's a thing it sure is <laughs> yeah usually that would be the kind of stuff i'd put on my head for fun i'm not doing it with this locker none none of this is going on my body let's see what's in the cash box cash box i don't see no cash in the cash box a magnetic cat. Yeah, tools. Let's see. Let's see. Is it pills? Yep. Never mind. I was hoping for maybe some jewelry. What's that for? Hmm? Put something on there and light it. Ooh, we got a watch. What kind of watch is that? No brand. Hmm. Okay. It's a little copper right there. I'll put that aside. There's <laughs> not much. And there's some brass. Put that aside for the metal recycling. Jeez. There's a dime. Okay. I don't really want to dig in here. I don't really want to keep anything from here. There's a nickel. Gotta do it. I gotta take it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna pull those dice out. I'm not even pull that USB drive out. I'm not pulling nothing out. That's just nasty. Gross. 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 Okay, what else we got? There's one of those organizers, like shoe organizers right there, or whatever organizers, but I put my shoes in one in my closet. And I found it in a locker, if you can believe that. I know you're so surprised. These are wrecked shoes, lower east side. Actually, they're not wrecked, they're just really filthy. There's some knockoff Uggs. There's a brush. Doubt that was used very much. Okay. <laughs> gross, gross shoes. Okay, this one says photo albums. So the last one, didn't it? I don't think there's any photo albums there. Flag, miscellaneous, Bibles. It, it does look like some photo albums in this one. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. There's a basket with the handle broke off. Okay. It's <laughs> a little pet harness. A little little dog or something. Empty. It's empty too. Hmm. Okay, there's a Bible. And there's a Bible. Alright, let's check for $100 bills. I'll check for $1 bills. I've never found any bills, but legend continues. People say you find money in Bibles. I haven't yet. There's another one. Chickity check, chickity check. Nope. Mm, that's nice. A little crucifix. Oh, there's some old black and white photos here. Got any good ephemera here? Let's see. 1961. Something from a high school. No, junior high school. Home economics classes. Class of 1961. 1964. Oh, there's an old menu. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. It's an old restaurant. Chopsticks. Sukiyaki restaurant, Jack London Square, Oakland, 1963. Funny. 1966. That's cool. Okay, that one was mostly all um, photo albums and garbage, really. Um, just had to process it. Bedroom closet right here. Okay, so here's another potential. Got some potential. Let's get this open and find out. Yeah, I see paperwork. Schoolwork, classwork, kid stuff. 
Okay, what's this? So this says two pair of Western boots, but it's been whited out. Ooh, gloves are coming apart. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. That's kind of cool. I mean, they're okay, right? They're all right. I'll bring it to Stockton. And then these, Justin, Justin boots. Those are cool. Yeah, I kind of like those actually. Okay, there's another shoe box. I like shoe boxes. They're sometimes interesting. 2019 right there. Oops, don't show that. That's some tax paperwork. Work, materials, and receipts. Eh, that's not so good. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a pipe. And these people, these guys, they got, they got some problems. They got some problems. Three dollars and forty-three cents to Subway. I'll take that if that's correct. That's a few bucks. Flat sheet, Raj's bed. I don't think so. Oh man, my glove's getting stuck in the zipper. Okay, some kind of headphones right there. We'll keep the bags because the, they always need bags at the flea market. You know what kind of belt is this? That's a nice leather belt. Top grain cowhide. Oh, by Justin. All right, that's cool. There's no buckle on there. That's not a problem. Put that aside. Cool. Obviously, I'm lowering my standards here because I, like, I actually thought that was a little bit better box than that is a terrible box, but it, it made me happy kind of a little bit. It's a little birdie. Dream catcher. Oh, that's neat. Mm, here's another box right here. Jewelry box, perhaps? Oh! Okay, there's some jewelry boxes and a wood box. Oh, there's some jingle jingle in there. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Empty. K jewelry. That's like the fourth K jewelry box that's been empty. This one. Hear that? That is not empty. Oh, oh, oh. Hold the presses. What is this? This could be something. It's definitely not nothing. Huh, I can't read the mark, but it says something. But I mean, I would say, oh man, I'm hoping that's gold. It could be, I don't think so though. It feels like it's too light. Let me go get my loop and look. I just checked my loop, which is in my truck, and that says Korea. There's no markings on it for gold content, fine metals, etc. But yeah, I don't think that's real, but I'm gonna take it to my gold guy anyways. Of course, I could check it. But I'm just going to take it to him. And if it is, we'll scrap it. We'll sell it. No, I don't think it is, though. Especially not in the, these people's locker. They just didn't seem to have very nice stuff, really. Hmm, that's funny. Okay. This one says cords and cabes. I'm assuming they mean cables, but cords and cables. Okay. Cables spelled wrong. <laughs> Sorry guys, I used to be in the advertising print world, so that kind of stuff still jumps out to me. Okay, cables, that'll all get recycled. All right, another box down. Whoops, knife. Okay, I'll grab some more boxes here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, wood box. Wait, did we look at this one before? I don't think so. Nope, definitely not. There's some fans. Oh, this is pretty. Huh, that's cool. Nice. Interesting. Oh, those are cool. Neat. Okay, I'm trying to decide if these go to the vintage flea... Well, not vintage, but the better flea market, which would be in there. Or do they go home to go into a live auction, which means they would go up here. I think I'm going to put it right there for now because I can always move them later. I don't know. Fans, will those sell at auction? I don't know. Bandages, ace bandages. Mm. Vanilla bean scented candles. That actually smells pretty nice. And I say actually because nothing in this locker has smelled nice. Everything's nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Recipes. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I save those too, usually. Not from this locker though. What about nail polish and such? Bring that to the market. 
Uh, that's gross. Tile. This little brass candle holder. Ooh, that's top secret right there. Top secret. Extra long heating pad. Okay. What's that? Is this key rings or rings? Key rings, okay. Okay. Oh! That's a jewelry box, right? That they painted on. Dang. With <laughs> earplugs. What the heck? They're so weird. That's it. Next box. Kitchen. Yes, it is kitchen. All right. I'm not saying yes like I'm like, yes. I'm saying yes like, yep, it is kitchen. Butcher block. And there's some knives. Usually I check the knives. I'm not doing it on this one. There's J.A. Hankles. Some decent stuff. Couple of, uh, oh, that's the butcher block right there. Okay, that's cool. That'll sell. That will sell. Next box. Hmm. Bedroom closet closed. Never opened. Yeah, it was. I didn't open it. Someone did. Fake advertising. Oh, uh, there's a nice little tool bag right there. Husky. That actually is clean. It is clean. I'm gonna put that aside for a second. What do we got here? It's another one of those vintage hangers. No purse. Nothing in there. It smells like smoke in here. Yeah, all their pants all have like paint stains on them. They're probably Levi's too. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not those, but we found other Levi's that are all stained up. There's a Hawaiian shirt. Dang it. I'm gonna have to look through this closer. Dang it. I mean, even their hangers are really nasty as far as hangers go. They're just so dirty and discolored. I, uh, Everything is just so nasty. I don't mean to be complaining guys. I'm just describing it to you Giving my expert input on it. I've seen a lot of stuff out of a lot of lockers and this one is yeah It's definitely on the dirtier side of things There's some Wranglers Those are kind of cool, but everything's so dirty. Those are 44s. That's a good size actually because we don't find them that often people that need them that big They don't smell too terrible. You know what? Too bad. I'm just bringing it to the market. Oh yeah, that's right. I meant to go for that Hawaiian shirt. Pierre Cardin, extra extra large. Got some woodies on the sides. Very well worn. I'm gonna let it go. What's this one though? More Wranglers. Okay. Suit jackets. Floppy hats. And that be that. Okay, this is perplexing. It says dirty clothes, but it's taped up. The bottom is not taped up. <laughs> Why? Why? Why, why, why? Huh, goofy. Gosh, it's just got paint on it. Look at the tags half fallen off. It just, oh, it stinks. Dang it, it just hit me. The smell, the aroma just hit me. Mmm, they got, they cut the neck out of that one too. Looney Tunes, oh, it's all stained up though. All right guys, you know, if this is where they wanted to, store their jewelry box because they knew no one to check in the dirty clothes, the stinky clothes. They'd be right. I don't want to check there. That's going to the flea market. It may actually deter customers the smell. They won't even need to be close to smell it. They'll be walking by our booth and probably they'll be able to smell that. Okay, next box. Hmm. All right, I gotta get these off. These are shredding up. Okay, what do we got? All right, that's in there. Some DVDs. Oh, that's a nice ashtray right there. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so cool, but that is kind of cool. Look at the better market. There's another one. This one is marble or granite or something. Chip out of it right there with some paint in it. Why would they paint in it? Oh my goodness, look at this. It says butts. Yeah. Used to be, looks like they used to use it for an ashtray. 51st Dates. Good movie. My Dream of Genie. Oh, look at this right here. Got something kind of interesting. Look at all these little brass things right here. Candlestick. Glass. Nothing. Oh. 
Edelweiss. Okay. Oh, well, look at these. Little brass bell. Little brass kitty cat. That's really nice right here. That's solid too. Little heart. Duck. Duck. Goose? Nope. Candle snuffer. Ooh, there's a whale. That guy's super heavy. I think that used to be a bell. Maybe. I don't know. Just little geese. Duck. Ducklings. It's a pewter unicorn. Yeah, that's kind of cool though, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, pencil sharpener, I think. It looks like one, but... And they wrapped it in, like, wallpaper or something. It's so weird. <laughs> Alright. Okay. This one says, Bedroom, closet, boots, riches, memorabilia. Something Canada. Tack vest under the nightstand. Okay. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. There's... Oh, okay. There's some sort of a vest right here. This is cool. Yeah, it is some sort of a vest. Huh. Okay. I don't know what that's for, though. It's pretty dope. That'll go to the better market for sure. Tactical vest, it said. I guess that's for, like, putting clips in there for ammunition. Magazines, rather. Oil and chemical Sierra resistant. Some nice boots right there. Bring that to the... Stock in the flea market. The guys out there love those kinds of boots. They love heavy boots. Okay, shoe box, guys. Shoe box. You know we have luck with shoe boxes. Mm. Mm. I'm not seeing any luck yet. <laughs> okay. There's some pipage. What do we got here? A couple pipes. That is not marijuana pipes, guys. That is not marijuana pipes right there. That's uh, some crack pipes, I think. Crack pipes. Mm -mm. These people had some probs. They had some problems. That's a junk box. Okay. Ooh, this has got some weight. Case logic. Empty. Empty. Not empty. Sony. Ooh, okay. Digital camera. Digital Mavica. MVC-FD71. It looks like it's in decent condition. Look at the look at the I think it puts a three and a half inch disc right there. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, we got some cables, cords with it. That's good. Actually, that's a good little piece. We'll sell that. Any electronics, I, I get happy. Well, that's not true. Old vintage electronics I definitely get happy. New awesome electronics get happy. There's a few electronics that don't get happy. Yeah, another shoe box. Come on, better shoebox, no drugs, please. No drugs, please. Cable. Kibbles. Put that in my cable box. Junkage. Pills. Pills. Cimetidine. Cimetidine. Gabapentin. Oxycodone. Oh, oh. Oxycodone. There's none in there, those washers. Sulfameth. Trimethoprene. It says meth in there. That's probably not very good. Not good. Not good at all. Not gonna do. Not gonna do. Tinkerbell. I said no drugs, dang it. No drugs. This is a dirty fork and knife. <laughs> this is a weird locker. Okay, there's some kind of little pillow. There's one more box in here. White paper bag from Walgreens, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, it's a little portable DVD player. Sweet. With the battery charger too. Right, power cord. That's cool. And there's a cell phone. That's cool too. That, not so cool. All right, that's it for that box. And next box. Bedroom closet closed, dresser never opened. Yeah, I was. Okay, again, fake advertising. <laughs> I think they wrote that, but then went back and opened it for some reason. Seems like these have been gone through. Again, with the funky odors. What do we got here? Some Harley Davidson shirt right here. Double XL. Uh-oh, getting a phone call real quick. That's actually kind of cool. 
That's actually cool. Even though it's stinky, I'm going to put that aside for a better market. Okay, that was Gianna. And I got to run, guys. I got to run. So, ooh, look at this one. Denim shirt with the M&Ms embroidered on there. Huh. That's pretty neat. That's definitely a vintage piece right there. It's a little bit stained up. That's, uh, it's just better. Just better. Just a couple of decent pieces in this massively disgusting clothes find that we've had so far. Mastered that, mmm, it's Adidas. I bet you that sells. It's all stained up and gross, but I bet you that sells in the morning. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. All right, let's sit for that box. Did we go through this? No, it just looks like junk. They're all starting to look like junk now. Okay, KitchenAid dish rack. Okay, there's a tool right there. DeWalt, that's nice. Nice, sir. It's a vintage Stanley thermos right there. And it's clean inside. All right, that's neat. These don't go for very much, but I'm gonna bring it to a better market. I just think it's a neat piece, kind of cool. Pepper mill, huge pepper mill. Sort of a wreath, fall wreath. Some more tools in here. I know what this is. Yep, that'll sell for sure. Uh, that'll probably sell. I don't know, it's kind of rusty. What we got down here? Oh, that's a DeWalt charger right there. Nice. And some nails. Roofing, roofing nails, okay. Alright, guys. I'm actually going to put the, this aside for a minute. I've just been thinking that I probably should have a drill in here. And, uh, you know, just in case I have some repairs or something I need to make, it'd be handy. Handy and dandy. Okay, that box is unimpressive and it's done. That's probably the best thing about this box is it's done. All right, guys, next box. And this one says pictures, photo albums. Look at it, it's taped on the top. It's taped super well, I might add. But the bottom is not taped at all. I, I can't make any sense of that at all. That's, that is senseless. It does not make sense. It is sans sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sans sense. Looks like we got some personal photos in here. Okay, we'll sort through those. New matched and clean silverware in the tray. Keeper. Keeper. Ooh, that's okay. Mm. IKEA. Okay. Some IKEA stuff. Nice little tray. I mean, yeah, that's actually a really nice little tray right there. From Ikea. Why do I have to sort this? I don't know. Two, only two spoons. That's going to limit the sales. <laughs> Trusted Butcher. Ooh, these are nice. That's a nice, like, case, too. Ooh, that is heck of sharp. Trusted Butcher. Four and a half inch steak knife made in China. Unfortunately, there's missing two right here. Man, I wonder if we have that somewhere else. That's a nice set. Trusted Butcher. I don't know. Anything made in China is not going to impress me too easily. But it does seem like that's a little bit nicer set. We'll get we'll get a few bucks for at the market. Five bucks? I think five? Five, five, five. Do we have six? Do we have six? Six, six, six. Do we have seven? Nope. Just kidding. We got, we got nothing until we got five. All right. User manuals. That's awfully organized. Huh, very organized. Viva La Bam. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> All right, season two and three uncensored. Hey now. Hey, electronic. Just blah, 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 blah. EEG. I think this is medical stuff. Medical stuff. Medical stuff. <laughs> Dump. Inu Yashi. Two souls, one body. We got some anime here. That's cool. These are actually clean too. Is this from someone else's house? I mean, this is like nothing in their house is clean. Penn and Teller BS. Ah, there's an old yearbook, 1963. That's cool. Very cool. There's a market for that. Not a big market, but there's a little bit of a market. There's a 1998 yearbook, Castro Valley High School. Yeah. Yep. This might be worth more than this. I'm not sure. 
All right, another one, old one, 1962. Guardians of the Galaxy, red box, Blu-ray disc. What's this? Oh, Man of Steel, Blu-ray. Sweet, it's a great movie. Well, I don't know if it's a great movie. It is a good movie. Let's just leave it that. I, I haven't really seen a DC movie that I could honestly say is a great movie. But they're all pretty good. I mean, they're all okay. Heaven's Lost Property and Security. Uh, burn stuff. Oh, just sold something. What did we sell? Phone just went cha-ching. $45? No, $35. Dragon Dice. <laughs> Mm, there's an old savings passbook. Well, bank book. United California Bank. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know what that's about. $6.54, and that was the last of it. Okay. Photo album and House MD final season. All right. Yeah, that one's kind of a letdown. All right, guys, here's the inside of the trailer. Uh, looking a lot different, right? Yeah. I took out some garbage. I took out all the boxes that we hadn't gone through. I think I did anyways. I think we went through all this. I don't know. It starts to look the same. This is the stuff we already went through. I put it back in here. A few more boxes I got to go through. This is stuff we already processed. So yeah, got a lot of room in here now. Um, because what I decided to do is go to the dump uh, preemptively before the flea market. Usually I take the garbage with me now that we have this trailer. But I got another locker I got to clean out and fit in here. So let me take some stuff to the dump and lighten the load so I get more in here. More good stuff in here. That way I'm not paying gas to move garbage. Let's grab these right here and see what we got. Okay, we're almost through. We got, oops, we got this to go through and then that trunk. I've been saving the trunk for last. Kind of got kind of a feeling about it. Maybe it's something better. I did not peek. Did not peek. What's in here? Some sort of a cover for, I don't know, car seat cover maybe? Don't know. Okay. Wait a second. Did we look in here? Did we look in here? Hmm. Okay, there's some pants. Mm -mm. Right, market. To the market it will go. There's some nice towels here. And, I mean, they, these those look clean, actually. Uh, wow, it's almost like we went through a different locker. Getting some clean stuff now. Pillowcases. Happy New Year. Dirty Kleenex, yellow stuff on it. Yuck. Christmas tree. Or the light. Yep, 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 nope, 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 not good, whoops, oops, 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 okay, I think we looked in this one already, yeah, we did, dang, mm-hmm, 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 well, that was a little quicker than I thought. Okay, so last box, last box, last box. <laughs> and then this one's done. Okay, let's see. I say box, it's actually a trunk. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see something in there. Electronics. That's stinky. It's a bed sheet. That sheet is stinky. Haha, <laughs> get it? So funny. It's a pretty used belt right there, but it's still a leather belt. It's got a vintage look. This one as well. CK, Calvin Klein. What's that? Looks like Cruella cool, uh, DeVille's been in this bag here. That's a big hat. That's another one. Okay. Got a black hat and you got a white hat. It's if you gotta have a good day or a bad day. There you go. Oh man, that's dirty in there. Mm, mm, mm. Dirty shoe. Nine West purse, empty. It's good, that'll sell. Oh yeah, these shoes, look at they're all cracked up. Avia, super old. Done, those are done. Those should be retired. To the dump. <laughs> ah, what's this? Something's in the purse. Little phone book, pen, a flower pen. Let me guess, ashtray. Yep, gross. All right, that purse is done. This one, gosh, these stink too. Stink like smoke, smokers. Gross. Okay, I had a feeling about this chest, this trunk, and I was wrong. <laughs> this trunk sucks. There's some moccasins, 
That's, those aren't so bad. I'll bring those to the market. Nope, can't saw this in there. Oh, Magellan. It's a little navigation unit here. Scratches, scratches on the screen there. USB. Oh, I'll put that aside. Maybe it's a little better. I mean, it's an electronics. And look at that. Before we finish, we found a little more money. Two cents, guys. That's my two cents. All right, get it? Yep, yep. I'm having a hard time uh, being upbeat and finding witty things to say on this locker. This one kind of took it out of me. Not fun, guys. All right, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say not fun. It's still fun. It's just, it's not as much fun as I thought it was going to be, as fun as other lockers are. This one, yeah. This one just had like that much good stuff, and that well, you can't even see because it's like that much bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the one good thing that's up here on the shelf is that uh, love letters that we found early in this episode. That was really neat. 1945 stuff. And it's a really cool time capsule box. War medals. Well, maybe, I think war medals. Military medals for sure, but I think those consider war medals. And letters from post-World War II era. Uh, I love that. Love that. We don't find that that often, and that is special. Um, but we'll probably hold on to those for a while, like I said earlier, until we find out if the owners are being in contact i know the facility will reach out to them whether they'll respond pick up the phone whatever i that i don't know so um if they're in contact maybe we'll get those back to the owners but if they're not in contact then we're going to find a new home for those because there's definitely a collector market for it and there's some value to it so but um as i said from early early on we're going to make our money off the tools in this locker the tools are where it's at even though they weren't like great tools there's a lot of tools and those do well at the stockton flea market which is where they're headed and there's a couple bins of better stuff that we'll bring to the better market but um yeah whatever another one done 25 bucks not a bad investment how much will i make on this locker i don't know several hundred so mm, whatever it's okay it's okay we take a swing sometimes we strike sometimes we knock it out of the park this time maybe we got on first i don't know we are, if we're on first, there's already two outs and uh, the, the team's tired. So like, there's, we're not going to score on this one. So <laughs> We're not going to score on this one. We got the first, but so what? Uh, game's almost over Okay, uh, on this locker. But that's okay because we got another locker and that one we bought for just a dollar. And the reason for making room in that trailer is to get over there and get that one loaded. But um, yeah, well, what, what can I say about that? It's big, 10 by 25. Can I say it's good? Mm, not really. It was a dollar. There were other people there. No one wanted it. So you know how that goes, but there's a chance. And we will take it, and we'll see what is in there together on the next episode of Locker Nuts. All right, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Yeah, that's a 1955 Does it been atomic missile. Yeah. In fact, uh, I went and bought this one in Texas at an auction. Uh -huh. Then I found out they didn't ship them. I'm going, what are you talking about? I'm in California. Well, you better get out of here, son. Uh. Really? God, that accent and everything. You're not very nice at the accent. <laughs> <laughs> what about that Southern hospitality? Yeah, no, that was happening.